guys, welcome back. If you're new to this channel, my name is Nicole Howell. That's N-I-K-O-L. And this is my recap video of The Bachelor Season 24, Episode 4. But before we get started, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you're the first to know when I post a new video. First, I want to start off with saying I'm really sorry if you're having a hard time understanding what I'm saying or if you're just having a hard time hearing me in general. Uh, the baby has been sick, so both Carlos and I have been sick on and off, so I've been a little, a little nasally, so um, let's get started. So the show starts off with Chris Harrison walking into the mansion and telling the girls they're going to Cleveland, Ohio. Yeah, wherever that is. And the girls are just kind of like, uh, okay. <laughs> For Peter's one-on-one -on -one date, he chooses to take Victoria P. And I actually really, really loved her polka dot top. And as she's getting closer to the spot where they're going to meet up, she sees there's going to be a plane and she starts freaking out because she doesn't want to skydive. I mean, I wouldn't want to skydive either. And apparently she had like a really big fear of heights, um, which is a good thing that Peter only took her on a plane ride over Cleveland, Ohio. I'm really glad that he did that because I feel like if he took her skydiving, it just would have been like, she probably would have had a panic attack. <laughs> I probably would have had one too. So he flies her over to this amusement park and they have the whole park to themselves and they go on this, uh, this ride. It's like a slingshot and it's kind of like that ride that you would ride at Boomers when you're a little kid that like goes up and down. And um, I've been on the one in Vegas, and it's like the the straight shot on the top of the stratosphere. It's like that, except you're in this ball. They're they're in this ball, just sitting in there, and they just get like it's just like a slingshot, and they go all the way up, and then they just oh, I I would have lost it. I would have lost it if I was her. But I'm I'm glad that she did it. After going on all the rides, they sit down and talk about their possible future, and they're they're very cute. They're very comfortable with each other, and they seem very playful with each other too. I I actually really like I really like uh, Victoria F. Next, he takes her around the corner and surprises her with a country concert that happens to be her ex boyfriend before she came on The Bachelor. And I'm just like, holy crap, that's freaking awkward! That's awkward! Ah! That's so awkward! <laughs> okay, one, I loved that song that Chase sang. Two, I, Peter is cute, but Chase Rice, Damn, he was so hot. hot. He was so hot. I mean, forget Peter. This guy's a freaking country singer. Like, why? Why why would you break up with this guy? She said she broke up with him because she didn't like his lifestyle. I would have been like, I can adapt. I can adapt just fine. I'll survive. And three, Chase and Victoria kept looking at each other. Like there was obviously still something there. Like there was still feelings there. There was still emotions there. Like they're giving each other like those eyes and those looks like Hey, baby girl. <laughs> I was like, oh, <laughs> oh, he just gave her the look and she gave him a look back. So Chase is strumming his guitar and Peter is twirling her around. And of course, Victoria is singing the song 
She has to know the song. When the song ends, Peter pulls her in for a kiss and Chase like ends the song and turns his head away and Peter looks at him and he's just like, hey, you know, like, thanks, dude. And Chase just like, yeah, bro, you're welcome. Poor guy, I felt so bad for him. You could just tell like that had to hurt him seeing Victoria kissing Peter. After the concert, Peter walks over to talk to Chase and, you know, thank him for coming out to do the concert for them. And I really thought that Chase was gonna say something like when he pulled out his phone and he didn't. And I thought that was honestly really big of him to not say anything to him and to wait for Victoria to talk to him about it. And on the side, Victoria F is actually talking to the producers about how Chase didn't want her to come onto the show so that makes me kind of question and think, well, when exactly did they break up? Like how long before the show started did they break up? And I really want to know the backstory and what led up to their breakup because I mean, it's Chase freaking Rice. So then Victoria F and Chase Rice are talking over on the side and I really like how Victoria was trying not to be awkward and she's like, good show though. Um, so yeah, <laughs> um, I need to talk to him about this. And I really like that Chase was, he was still being supportive of her and whatever it is that she wanted to do, even though he wasn't what she wanted. And I've actually heard on the radio Chase Rice, um, in an interview and he was saying how mad and pissed off he was because he had no idea that she was gonna be on that date with Peter so he kind of felt like the producers definitely set him up but who knows the producers probably just got really lucky but that's kind of a coincidence Chase knew that she was going on the show he had to have been thinking, okay, it's a, there's a good chance that Victoria is going to be on this date. So, who knows? So later that night, they continue their date, and Victoria P is wearing the cutest pink dress. And Peter, in his confessional, actually says, who knows if things keep going the way that they're going. You never know, Chase Rice could be singing at our wedding someday. Bro, if only you knew. So they sit down at the table and Peter says, are you okay? And Victoria's like, no, I'm not okay. And she grabs her drink and starts chugging it. And I'm just thinking, girl, you need something stronger than water. <laughs> so when she told Peter about Chase, Peter was like, wait, what? You mean the singer? Like the singer in the band on the stage that was singing with the microphone? Yes, that guy. Victoria was so stressed out, she ran over in the corner crying again. So Peter comes over and you know, comforts her and then they come back to the table and just before he gives her the rose, he's like, can you please accept this rose and please don't run away into the corner this time. For the group date, Peter takes the girls to the football stadium and they play a game of football, except for Victoria P. She's the water boy, I mean cheerleader, because her back hurts and Peter starts giving her a massage and her hair oh her hair was bugging me it was like this it was like she was like oh it feels so good thank you that's so nice my back just hurts so bad Ugh. can't stand it so whichever team won the game they would get to go on to the after party and get more time with Peter. So it would be a shorter, smaller group of girls. But 
the girls tied the game and I don't know why they didn't, didn't try to break the tie, but so all 13 girls went to the after party, but I feel like even if one team won over the other, Peter's so nice, I feel like he just would have, he would have taken all 13 girls anyways. Later at the after party, Shien is mad at Victoria P because Victoria P grabbed Peter before Shien had a chance to. So honestly, I don't understand. I don't, I don't think she should have been that mad. They're all there to get time for Peter. I don't think that she was more deserving of his time just because she did so good in the football game. And that was the least of her worries because here comes Princess Alea making her appearance and interrupting Shein and Peter's conversation. Shein was just telling Peter how upset she was because she felt like she was being pushed aside. So when Alea asked to talk and Peter gets up to talk with her, what he should have done was just say, hold on Alea, give me two minutes. Once I'm done finishing this conversation with Shien, then I'll talk to you. But again, he fudged up. So Alea tells Peter that she wants to set the record straight that her and Victoria were friends before this and they went on some vacation to Vegas together and one of the girls that was in the group date she was telling one of the girls how Victoria P was talking crap about Alea saying that she's a terrible person and then later on in the rose ceremony she was holding her hand so now both Peter and the girls in the house are confused and they're questioning Victoria P's story as to her friendship with Alea. So Peter grabs Alea and Victoria P and when they come in the room to talk, the girls are hugging each other like they're best friends. And so they sit down and talk and as they're talking, I noticed the girls are holding each other's hands and then Victoria P goes to like wipe a tear from Alea's face. I feel so bad for all those girls in the house that have not got all this time with Peter that they could have had. But because Alea shows up again and again, most of the girls have barely got to talk to Peter from both the pool party and now their group date, which was crashed by Alea. Now, Peter is sitting with Alea. He's so frustrated and so confused. He just kind of nonchalantly is like, you want to come back? And she says, well, I'll come back, but we have to put this aside. Sweetheart, you don't make up the rules. This was about to bite Peter in the ass. Not only did Peter invite Alea back, but he gave her the group date rose. I was not expecting him to do that at all. The next day, the girls are still pissed and they're gearing up to unleash on Peter for bringing Alea back and giving her the rose. Before Peter starts his next one-on-one -on -one date with Kelsey, he wants to tell her all the drama that happened the night before, and Kelsey is just kind of like, okay, cool, let's move on. And I'm sure, I'm sure if she was on the group date, she would be pissed too, but I think just because she's on this one-on-one -on -one date with Peter, she's kind of like, it's cool, it's fine, it's whatever, yeah, let's just have fun, and let's just have fun and enjoy the day. So they go walking around the city, they race these little box cars, and they on a boat, they on a boat, take a good hard look at Peter's date on a boat. Hey. <laughs> so Kelsey opens up about her parents being 
divorced and I can kind of relate to her because I've been around a lot of divorce in my family and of course nobody wants to get divorced so being around a lot of that makes finding that special someone to spend the rest of your life with that much more important. So I thought their date went pretty well, but I don't think she's going to make it to the end because I feel like she can be a little cuckoo. Back at the hotel, Alea has already told some girls about Victoria's ex, Chase Rice. So Victoria confronts her about it, and Alea is making these snarky little faces and it just oh it just grind all it was just grinding all of my gears inside i just wanted to ugh. fast forward to the cocktail party and peter's walking in with a positive attitude and i'm just like strap in pilot pete because it's gonna be a bumpy freaking ride <laughs> first Peter asked to talk to Victoria P and Deandra and Natasha are both like, hold up, we got something to say. Deandra dropped some freaking knowledge on Peter because she was saying that it was just a slap in the face to all the girls who have tons of bruises on their bodies from playing this game just to see Alea walking back in the room holding hands with Peter. And McKenna is over here like, mm-hmm, word, word, bro, sound cool. Then Natasha is like, yeah, my ankle hurts and my knee still hurts. And Peter's just got this look on his face like, oh, shoot, I was not prepared for this. Peter apologizes to all the girls and when he tries to ask Victoria P to talk, She's like, I'll talk, but I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you right now, but I'll, I'll still talk. And then Peter's like, oh, do you, want, do you want to talk? We can talk later. She's like, no, I don't want to talk. Oh, so you don't want to talk? No, okay, I'll talk. Let's go talk. Uh, just go talk. <laughs> so they go out to talk, and she's just a freaking hot mess. She's such a hot mess. And there she goes again with her... Peter, I'm so mad at you. But I'll still listen to you and talk to you. He asked her to sit down. She's like, I don't want to sit. But I'll sit anyways. I've been sitting all week just waiting to talk to you. Ugh, so pulped. Victoria, Paul. <laughs> and then Peter tries to get a word in and she's like, ah. Let me finish. Let me finish. And he's just like, oh God, okay. Like, this girl is crazy. She's not happy with me. She was pretty pissed though because he pretty much said in front of all the girls that he was being influenced, obviously by Victoria P, that Alea is different than she says she is. Back inside, the girls are tearing Alea apart. Lexi even said, you're not here to clear your name. You're here to be on the show. And Alea says, why does it always have to be about the show? And the girls were like, if you didn't care about the show, you would have waited until the women tell all to clear your name. And then Alea is just like, oh, I'm not here to deal with this petty BS. Yeah, because that's the reason you came back, because you were trying to be petty and get in front of the girls and be like, ha ha ha, I'm back. Yeah, that's petty. So now Peter's talking to Victoria F, and she's telling him about how Alea is telling all the girls about her ex-boyfriend, Chase. And then Peter starts talking to Alea and cue the waterworks. He's just like, I don't understand. You gotta tell me something. You gotta give me something because I don't understand why the girls don't like you so much. So Peter walks off to go think about everything that's happened. And I just feel bad for all those girls because it's week four and he still hasn't got the chance to know more than half of these girls. 
and he's gotta get down on one knee at the end of this. But he can't get to know these girls because Alea keeps coming back. Get rid of her. It's like another Luke P situation. Okay guys, so that was my recap video of The Bachelor season 24, episode four. And I just read that this week there's gonna be an episode on Monday and Wednesday so make sure you check out my next videos that I post on next Sunday of my reaction and recap videos of both of those episodes so it'll be four new episodes on Sunday so let me know in the comments section what you thought about this episode give this video a big thumbs up hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you're the first to know when I post a new video Bye guys, see you next week.